cute up here. I'm sitting with Chris. Chris Day and me are sitting in front of the ATU 757 Hall. Just come from the meeting and we're discussing the uh, how it all went, <laughs> the crap. And, and you know, the bottom line, and you know, here today, or yesterday, I guess, uh, uh, Chris was uh, provided with the uh, LR, it's, uh, this is, what is this? this is LMRDA like, law, uh, which is labor management. Yeah, there's some lo uh, some regulation coming out of one of those labor, uh, what are they, what are they, an agency? Who are they? A union uh, member? It's an act, it's an act. It's uh, the labor management uh, relations something uh, act. Yeah, there's some kind, of, the Labor Relations Act is very specific. A union may not discipline a member for libelous speech because such discipline would curtail fixed. <laughs> so libel is actually a protected. Now, Chris and I, nobody knew that this law existed until you went to the meeting yesterday. Well, we had an idea the law existed. Well, we, you were referenced in a letter, but it yeah, wasn't. Yeah, I mean, it, but, I mean, it, it, wasn't, was, it, it was referenced in that, uh, <laughs> for example, a union member <laughs> may not uh, may not be disciplined. Uh, oh, wait, a union may not discipline a member for libelous or untrue speech. Right, but we didn't have the legal reference. And I, I remember saying to you, "Well, why does he say that? He didn't provide yes. that reference, which you could have then looked up and seen." that that letter was based on an actual law, not just his opinion, and you could have realized, well, we can't well, go forward with this because of that. You know, even with these numbers, with the law numbers... An LRS. I tried... I, some, this is not a... It's not a law. It's a regulation is what this is. No, it's a law. It's an act. It is an act? It's an act. It's it, a law. I've never heard it. 1959. It's the labor management... Oh... Where can I... I it is, I'll tell you what I've never it is. seen an LRX on a uh, law before. Well, they all also have uh, different numbers. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know anything about any of this. But, where is it? This is, the Labor Relations Board is a organization that was, uh, that is enabled under an act of law. Yeah, the U.S. To Labor make regulations. Management Relations Act. Yeah, it's called the U.S. Labor Management Relations, uh, Act. Relations Act. Okay, that allow, that formed this agency, which then made these laws. Yes, right, I got you. That's how it works. See, and the purpose for this law, though, is to uh, promote freedom of speech. Yeah, and it clearly and, says libel is protected. Which is, <laughs> I kind of am well, amazed by that. Really, it, it's deceiving. It's not not just libel is protected. Slander. Slander's protected. Every the union's hands are tied. And uh, cannot discipline for any type of speech. Yeah, that's interesting. I mean, I would have never understood. You can yell fire in a crowded hall, and people can get hurt, and the union cannot discipline you right. for it. This is this is the major revelation of all of our, of all of Chris's work here. Is is we found out that you can actually say anything you want. Yeah. And you got to remember, you got to remember. This also means the officers can lie to you. They can tell you that something totally different than what a contract says and they are, are not able to be held accountable for it. Except through election, I guess. No. No, through election they can lie too. <laughs> they, they can tell you... Basically, this authorizes the lying of all union members. Yes. What kind well, of law would... I mean, really, think about that. No. Why would they have that kind of regulation? <laughs> but the regulation is the union can't do anything about it. But if you, as an individual, choose to take it to civil oh, matters... Oh, civilly you can do something. Yeah, civilly you can do it. But the union the will union, not intervene, union, cannot I intervene. Guess, I guess you. So that, li that limits their power to intervene in a personal libel. In any type you, of... It, yeah. it has to be a civil suit. Yes, and so when it comes to freedom of speech, any... Well, pass... When it comes to speech, a union cannot... The only way time a union can interfere with a member's speech is if they're trying to get you out of your current union and trying to pull in a different union. Mm -hmm. That is hurting the membership by doing that. What, they, what can they do? <laughs> Kick out of the union, or they they can prefer charges on, on you for that. Happen. That that I mean, they 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 could kick you out the union, and I mean. Yes, there's there's several 
it goes along with just like not paying your dues. Yeah. And so it's interesting that Ellen comes out uh, uncharged only because there is a law that protects her ability to libel people. That's that's an interesting. It's interesting that she within the membership within within this within this forum. Yes. That doesn't mean we can't or anybody can't just take her to court ourselves. You Correct. Know? And I mean, and she is still liable. She is still liable for. Uh, Civil, yeah. You civil can take matters. her to court. I could take her to court. She took me to court twice, as a matter, you know, as a matter yeah. of fact. All we have to do is put a dollar figure, a dollar damage to it, right? And uh, yeah, go ahead and, and pay the lawyer and give him what he needs to file and let the work, the wheels of justice turn. You know. See, now that might be an interesting video. What the process of uh, what making the civil suit? Yeah. Well, you know. Uh, let me cut this for a minute here.